Hey, good morning everybody, we've got Lyle Asashi over here. It is Saturday, July 27th, I have to remember that date, got it wrong last video. Coming to you for a weekend shave. Again, I'm pulling a last minute audible on this one. Uh, had a sample shave planned out for you guys. Uh, try to review a couple things I think I didn't do a great job before, but today is a hot one. For us anyways, uh, it's going to be about 33 degrees Celsius, which is just shy of 92 Fahrenheit for all you people down in the States. I don't mind it. My family doesn't do good with it. But since I got to be outside doing some work today, I figured I was going to th throw in something I haven't used for a long time. And my girls love this. It's the only reason it probably hasn't left my den. This PAA Frostbite, or as my girls call it, Ice Pick. <laughs> Pure methanol, methylated soap. Whoop, oh, there you go. That's all this is. Oh my God. I don't think there's any other scent in here. This is firm for a PA soap. I mean, this is one of the older formulas. This is pre um, any of the Crown King formulas. I've had it about three, three and a half years, and it probably hasn't been used in two years. So, we're going to use that for you today. Let's we'll see how much uh, tears come to my eyes with this. I'm not a huge fan of methanol. Menthol, sorry. I'm too tired. Methanol, menthol. <laughs> this is all whipped up for you guys. It's ready to go. This is my 27.5 mil um, silver tip. From Razor Rock and the olive wood, olive wood handle. Loaded this very heavy. I do find this brush eats lather sometimes on me. So I like to load it really, really heavy. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so my whiskers are a little dry here. <clears throat> it's been about half an hour since I showered. So hopefully this goes well. Sorry, this brush is kind of big when it blooms out like this. It doesn't even fit in my uh, mug that I use to dip the tips in. Not without making a mess. So yeah, I can definitely feel the chill on this now. I don't know if it's as cold as I remember. I don't know if that can be changed due to time with how long it sits in storage. I'm not too sure. But Definitely getting cold. <laughs> so I think that lather's good. So like all PAA bases, this is vegan. Like I said I got this in 2016, I believe it was. So it's been in this tub for a while. Um, sorry, we're gonna use my Made in England, ever ready. I believe it's a 1912 style. Uh, the gem blade in here is on shade number three. So even this old base from PA does very well for me.
no issues with glide or anything. Definitely more inadequate to get the job done. Starting to feel that chill. <laughs> Oof. So, I hope everybody's been having a good weekend. Hope the weather's good for all you are. So it's been pretty warm for the most part around here, except for the last two days. Uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday were really nice, beautiful, high 20s, sunny, a little bit of wind out here. There's always a wind out here. And then Wednesday and, th uh, and uh, Thursday, Friday turned a little not so nice. Same with Wednesday. Well, here wasn't bad. Where I was, I went to Saskatoon for a couple of days, for a night, sorry. And it was raining on Thursday in Saskatoon, just, yeah, wasn't my favorite. But, uh, Friday wasn't too bad here again. It was like 23, 24, I think. Still windy, but that's Saskatchewan. And then, today is like, yeah, we're calling for 33 and sunny. Just hot. Should be awesome. <laughs> Good day to work on my shed, cut the lawn, change some locks in the house. Oh my god, that's cold. Ooh. Okay. Oh. There's the major chill right there. Uh, this is what I was remembering. One second, be right back. Sorry, I'm back. My five year old was telling me the dog had to go outside. My back door is pretty sticky, she can't get it open. She's a good or bad thing. Oh my god. Also, that might cool me off for now. Holy smokes. I don't know, people always shave with these all the time, like a snake bite or uh, cryogen, those kind of soaps. Oh man. <laughs> so this razor does very well. I can get extremely close shaves with these razors. Um, I average probably six, maybe seven shades per blade before I find this time to turf them. They're very rigid blades. I'll show you the blade at the end of the video if you guys haven't seen it before. I do have to thank uh, JB over at Custodia Edge for introducing me to these razors and my buddy Jason for piffing me this one. It's just beautiful. So SEs have definitely uh, worked their way up uh, in the spots of preference in my den. I definitely keep this guy, my PAL injector, my Shick E-Type, and my Shick Adjustable in my daily rotation.
of all the essays I have, I find this one the most aggressive. I think it's got that laser rock clock now, too. <clears throat> I find this more aggressive than that, definitely. I don't nick there. Not bad. Soap's doing a good job. I'm having a hard time feeling my face right now. <laughs> This is pretty much on par for me with the uh, Ever Ready right now. I usually get two or three nicks. Looks pretty good. See, I'm not fast forwarding anything in this video today. I just feel like I do it all for you guys. Have a little fun shitty video. There's really no new products here, right? So, so again, it's a great. If you haven't used one of these two by lights, you basically ride the cap on your skin. I find shorter strokes work better with this razor for myself. You may be different. So, it's definitely cold. It's not as cold as I remember. I wonder if that could be the age of the tub, maybe some of the kick of the um, menthol life. I, I, I don't know, but this used to make me tear up really bad. Now it's just cold. Maybe if I would have hydrated it a little bit more, spend a little more time with it that way. I am playing around with lathers lately a little bit. <clears throat> trying to see if, uh, if I like leaving them thicker. I used to thin them out quite a bit. I'm trying to see if it works better for me. And here it's very difficult for me to get close. Um, it's also the area that annoys me the most if I don't. Residuals even get in this whole base, there's no issues buffing over that. Excuse me. Uh -oh. Did open that back up. I cut that the other day. Most common from place for me to nick myself always seems to be the edge of my mouth there. 
probably because I try to get it extremely close. All right, check this out. The lots of residual there on this soap. So I always got good performance with the soap base in the past. Still a little bit there, I'll clean up. A little bit there, but overall, very nice. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna clean this all up. Probably try to get these hairs real quick. And I'll be back to see you for the post. All right, back for the post here for you now. So it was a quick warm water rinse, cold water rinse, which hurt that really blew up the coldness on my face. Brought you alive. Overall, it was a good shave. Really enjoyed it. Couple little nicks. Um, not ideal, but I don't worry about that, right? I'm not gonna bring the Allen block up for that. Now, I don't really have a mentholated or heavily mentholated soap. And since there's really no scent to this soap, and it's a warm one out there today. I want to use male grooming Franken lime, a nice citrusy scent, and just an amazing aftershave. Always makes your skin feel great. Definitely, you know, I got three of them. I'd love more. I know Sean over there has uh, got a lot going on right now with, I believe, uh, collaborations with the grooming. No, Talbot. Sorry, and his collaboration, uh, his one collaboration that he did with the uh, grooming department for a soap to match his scent. But wow, that was awesome. I did say I'd show you guys this. So first of all, the razor was of course, again, my EverReady gem type, made in England 1912. That's the blade in them. This is a gem blade. I can't remember the type. I'll put it up here for you. It is stainless though. That was the third shave on it. It's been really good. The soap you used today was an older version of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Frostbite Pure Methylated Shaving Soap. Shaving Soap. That is prior to any of the CK bases. About 2016, I'm going to say. Thirsty Badger Shave Bowl. 27.5 millimeter Razor Rock silver tip and you just saw me finish it all off male grooming frankenline great day thanks everyone for watching i do appreciate everyone who takes their time to watch my videos uh, if you are a subscriber thank you very much if you'd like to subscribe down below um please leave your comments i love talking to you guys what you like about my shaves what you don't like about my shaves what you think i've done i'm doing wrong what you like to see me to try and improve tips questions all that fun stuff or just to say hey great video. Hopefully it's a great video. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend. Happy shaving to all of you. Cheers.